Best Pippage back at it again, trying to drop another little um experience video or uh, experience. Well, I call them experience kicks in, but experience video. Um, what I saw for the most part on BTC, everybody looking for the shorts. Everybody is looking for the shorts. I'm looking for the shorts too, but uh, I saw a little opportunity to get active in the market, so I just want to drop this little video to show um how you can potentially take a counter trend trade. I say again, counter trend trade. I was only looking for the scout buy, scout buy, because I saw price coming out here and make this low right down here, and um. Yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. But uh, what I was looking at from the weekly and the monthly and the daily was I saw, you know, these little um, resistances, you know, price pushed up, came back down, came down over here, pushed up, came back down, finally broke through, and then respect right on top of there. We were in the, pretty much in that same area. Um, and this is on the weekly chart. And then when I went down to the daily, you know, I had these levels marked up on, um, on another feed. Let me see. Yeah, I had these areas marked up on a different feed, but uh, yeah, we pretty much was in that same area. And what I said on the daily was, okay, even if the shorts are about to play out, you know, price coming back down or whatever, whatever, um, price had just made a new low. And um, I saw this start looking at it Friday. Price had just created a new low. So in order for it to continue to possibly go lower, it needs to make a lower high for, you know, potentially catch those shorts back to the downside. So when I started looking at this, um, and I'm about to draw this up live, so. I don't got really too much on the charts. Let's go to the tele, the telegram. Um, but yeah, what I saw was, you know, new low. So I was looking for a lower high and I wanted to take the scout buys. Um, I forgot to actually call it out on my telegram. I called it out on Twitter. But this is what I had right here. You know, I was looking for the first scouts right here on these charts. I don't think so. Let me pull it up. Nope. But I was looking for the first scalps on these charts right down here. I had a uh, buy limit at 42, 289 or something like that. Um, yeah, 42, 289 or something like that. I don't know, I don't think I dropped. Yeah, here, go right here. Um, I had a buy limit right there because what I saw was price came down. On a one hour chart, price action shifted the structure. So I was looking for price action to come back down in this white box. This price, price action right here had already played out before, um, before I put the buy limit in. So. What I did originally was I took this level, um, this little price action right here as a price action that shifted the structure when it should have been this one. And then that's what let me know that, hey, you already missed out on this setup. So um, once I saw that taking place, and this is how it looks on the 15, price action shifted the structure, came back into that zone where we uh, took off from originally, and then it started pushing back bullish. Um, I was like, okay, well, if I already missed that trade, you know, if price action closed above, this little resistance that we got going right here, you can see it better on the hourly, which is right here, which is that 42, I said 850 in the thing, but I took it from 800, um, was basically from this area right here, then potentially we catch buys back into the highs over here. This is a four hour resistance, and the gray box down here is a four hour support. <clears throat> the white boxes are the one hour um, entry zones, and then filled in white boxes a 15 minute entry. So um, just a little explanation on that, but um, looking at the charts, like I was saying, lower low, Need a new lower high from the daily on a four hour. This is pretty much how I was looking at it. Uh, give me whatever that was back. This is an old mark up over there, but uh, this is the area I had outlined from the telegram. And basically, this was basically just uh, the lower high that created the new lower low. And then the same thing over here this is the new lower low. And then, like I said, I started watching price when it was like right over here. Or was when I had an idea of you know which way potentially to um potentially could catch the market to uh, push back up to make that new lower high. Um, now seeing this candle stall out as it gets right here, it kind of makes me wonder. Okay, is price going to drop from right there? It's kind of in the middle, so mm, nah, I'm gonna expect for it to come all the way back up there. Um, stops stops are in profit on this trade, so ain't no you know risk free at this point. Um, but on the four hour, that's how I got those four hour levels, and then on the one hour, like I said. When I was looking at this, um, this had already played out. And I think this had played out too from the beginning. So I was looking for price action to come back down one more time. So I think I, the first time I had it marked up, I had this as my one hour level. Marked up something like this right here. Here, consolidation and then just delete text off hood. So I had the one hour marked up like that and I bumped down to the 15. And I outlined 
this box here or this area right here. I can't give you all the details as to why I do it that way. You know, you have to join the class, join the group. Um, if you want to know all that good information, but I will show you how I set it up. Can't give you the wise, but I can show you the house. Um, so it was something like this. And then I had an entry right on the top of this, which is 42, I said like 289, two something. But then as I looked at it right here, I was like, oh shit, you know, why isn't this a good enough shift of structure? So then I brought it back out to the one hour. And I was like, you know, technically, you know, if you got the, low, the high, the low potential lower high area, this push down close below this wick. So that was a new lower low. Then you got a pullback and then failure to create. And then we kind of shifted. It's not enough to say the trend is reversing more or less. It's just like the intraday, intraday time frame is still okay. Price action doing a little structure shift potentially in the lower time frame. So you could catch buys back into that lower high from the higher time frame. So when I saw this move, I was like, ah, this right here might be wrong. So I deleted it all. And what I did was I drug it from this candle. This was my one hour level from the bottom to the top. And then, no background. So then when I bought down to the 15, looking from this candle here to the bottom of that blue candle wick. And then that should have been my initial entry. Fill that back in. This should have been my entry right here. But like I said, this had already played out and then I had to buy limit based off of this zone and it never came back down to that zone. So um, once I saw price taking off and pushing higher highs and higher lows, I was like, damn it, I missed the entry. Um, even on the uh, Twitter, you can see I put, you know, I missed that BTC entry. It did not come back. Um, the idea was going back out to the hour. And I said, okay, well, since price action already took off, where's the next place price action could possibly be short from? So I caught this little level right here. Oh, put that in like that. And then that's what it was. So then I said, okay, well, price action was pushing bullish and then rejected from that level and then just massively dropped. Barely. So if price action was pushing that way before and that was as far as it could push up, you know, if we close above that level, because price action was doing this move right here, it hadn't made it all the way up there yet. I said if price action could close above that level, then potentially you got some gas back into the high. So mentally, I had it in my mind that I wanted to take bars from right above there. Possible buy above, no break and retest because this is a counter trend trade. So we potentially just looking to scalp. <clears throat> but what I saw was when you bought back down to the hourly, you know, my, my initial entry pushed up into that level and then it started coming back down, but it didn't close back down or push back into my hourly level, meaning that it was going to continue to go bearish. It actually reversed and pushed back into that uh, resistance that we found on the higher time frame. So <clears throat> as I saw this come down, and then this, you know, these two big candles pushed that way. And then we came back down again and was not able to break this low. I got in right over here. I didn't wait for my 42,850, which was the initial number. Um, yeah, 42,850 was the initial number. And then once it took off, it took off um, stops and profit and then let that thing run. So um, for the most part, yeah, I do believe that it could continue to go bearish, but looking for the scalps, that I called out or that I was looking for, or looking for the, you know, lower high to produce, to push price lower. Um, I just saw these scout buys as a potential and it actually played out this time, you know? So um, we're gonna let that thing run. I'm getting ready to do my weekend analysis and my compare and contrast video. Um, those will be dropped on the tube. This will be dropped on the tube, but uh, I just wanted to make this video cause I, I usually do cryptos every weekend. And I always forget to make the videos. I, I start on Fridays and I get charts out to the group, but I never really make a video behind it. Like last weekend, this is GJ, this is Bitcoin. You know, last weekend we had Bitcoin up, you know, or I had Bitcoin up and I never did make a video behind, you know, um, what I was looking for, how I was looking for, you know, last setup or what I was looking for, how I was looking for it. And, you know, how did I get into my analysis? But yeah. Every, every weekend, jump on them cryptos um, because I don't have time to look at them during the week because I trade the currencies. So, you know, to keep my skills and my talents sharp, I look at the cryptos to see if, you know, potentially the way that I mark up the currencies work out 
on the cryptos. And as you can see right here, bing, bang, kaboom, bing, bong. Um, so far, let me see where we at. Oh, 380, whatever, however you count that in Bitcoin terms, uh, you could say pips, but that's 49,000 pips, which is, I don't think that we move 49,000 pips. So I would call a smooth 49 pips that is pushed and right now currently sitting at 38 pips. So um, yeah, it is what it is. Stocks and profits, free risk, uh, no risk um, trade right now. So I'm gonna let that thing run. I'm gonna go ahead and mark up this weekend and that's all I got for this one. Um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Big booty hoes, ENT in the building. We out of that thing. Peace.